Hey, what's going on y'all? Coming right back. I wanted to just share something else with y'all, but this is another tool. I was just sitting here thinking that I wish I never bought. And I bought it and I use it and I use it and I try to love it. And I keep trying to use it and I keep trying to love it, but I don't. And I don't know how to feel about it. I'm kind of, some days I try to see the good side of it and other days it's just like not what I want. And that tool is the Bronze Series 9 Shaver. This shaver is $300 and it's ridiculous to spend that much money on a shaver. Now what's good about it, it comes with a charging base that is also a cleaner. It has, um, you can press the button and it's self clean it. Comes with a travel case and that's it. I'm gonna actually open up the box for you so you can see. Now the, I don't have the tool in the box but I went ahead and put the, I put the charger station back in there. And I only put it back in there because we had to shut down our barber shop. But this actually sits on my station. We had to shut down the barbershop due to COVID situation. I didn't want to leave any expensive tools in there. If you're watching this video, you left your tools in there, go get your tools, all right? People still. I love the way it look actually, but it doesn't cut close enough. And I'm gonna show you what tool I usually end up going back and using. My Andis Pro Show, my Andis Pro 4 Shaver. It comes with a lithium ion battery, lasts pretty much two, three days, cause you're not using it all day. And um, it cuts close, man. It's loud. It ain't the loudest I've heard, but it's loud, but it works. That's a big difference in sound. The shaver, I've never had to replace the head because of it breaking or me damaging it. I take good care of my tools but you can buy a replacement head for what, 20 bucks? That's, that's nothing at all. When you can consider it to this one, but you'll spend like another 40 bucks for a replacement head, it's something ridiculous. But it doesn't cut close as that. And if I'm gonna use a shaver, I want something that's gonna cut close. <sighs> I'm disappointed. I will say, before you use the Andis, you need to use your trimmers to cut your hair all the way down this, you can basically cut it from like a clipper close and it'll cut down the hair, but it won't leave it as smooth as an Andes. And um, I was talking to my homie who was just discussing this uh, while we was in Atlanta one time. Dave compared the two to like a, a, a Ford Mustang compared to a Ferrari. The Ford Mustang, you know, it's just brute power. It's just, it's an animal. But this Ferrari is more refined, right? Neither one is better than the other. It's just more refinement. And this one was just that 800 horsepower and it's gonna burn tires every time you hit the gas. And then I talked to some other barbers and they all agreed that neither one is better than the other. This thing is very expensive. And if you're a new barber, don't go buy this. Get the Andis one or get the wall one. Can't go wrong with the one. Actually, uh, Ron Barber, shout out to Ron Barber. Him and his crew said the Babless ones are better. And that's way less expensive than this Braun. The cartridges for the Braun to clean probably, probably last like three or four cleanings and you gotta replace it. Those are expensive. You get what, three pack of cartridges for like 20 bucks I think it is. So if you, can you see you just keep spending money, 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 money and buy this and you use it and it's good. 
Another good thing I would say about the brawn is you can do wet shaves. Let's be honest, how many of y'all do wet shaves? I have done wet shaves with these numerous times, but on a typical, just quick haircut, and I'm just trying to clean it up, I'm not doing a wet shave with these. My goal is to be efficient. I'm not charging $100 for a haircut that lasts me an hour and a half. I'm doing 45 minute haircuts and I'm charging 40 bucks. So I'm trying to get my client in and out and be efficient as possible. And I want my stuff to last. And doing a whole bunch of hot lather shaves with this is gonna to take too much time for me. But when I do have those opportunities to use it, I will use it. And it's pretty cool, but if I'm using a hot lather, I might as well use my razor, y'all. Let's be honest. Is it worth the money? No. If you're a barber looking into it, use somebody else's. Try to get a feel for somebody else before you go purchase this. To me, it ain't worth it. And sometimes I wish I could get my money back for it. Um, to thankful, I'm thankful that I do have it so I can tell you about it and, and try to convince you to save your money. All right? And like I said in my other videos, because you spent $300 on a tool don't mean you made an investment. That mean you made a high purchase. You had a high expense. It can be a tax write-off, but it doesn't mean that you're getting that money back. That just means you're not getting taxed on that $300 you spent on that. But come on, y'all. It's not an investment if you're not using it. So this is Raging Winston. Together, we're going to make barbers better. If you haven't already, man, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, like this video if you like with the content you saw and let me know what shaver are you using. All right. Thank y'all together. We made barbers better. Peace out. I'm gonna choose the Mustang. <laughs> Bro, I, I even like this one better than I like that one. <laughs>